And I'm like, what's up? Like, Martin. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Shit. Yeah, you know we in this thing. K.A. Baby in this thing. Ew. What's up? It happened, man. It's K.A. For Tom K. Show Goody. Sleep with a cutie. You know what I'm saying? Number one designer. Number one plug. You hear me, man? Hey. You know, kept in my rap, I'll be telling the truth. Uh, anyways, now in the past couple of days, it was reported that NBA Big B, NBA Young Boy's brother, I didn't even know they was related like that. <laughs> Yo, all these motherfuckers related, bro. Anyways, he got shot at, and people, you know, the fans, oh my gosh, you know, with the Quando situation, and uh, 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 so sorry, like King Von people did that. Oh my god, oh my god. You know, motherfuckers be thinking, oh, it's related to that shit. But anyways, gonna break it down. I got my little shit here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we're gonna figure this shit out. We're gonna Scooby Doo in the mystery machine, this bitch. Anyways, we back in here. So, anyways, I was saying, Young Boy's brother, you know, Big B also known as NBA. Big B was uh, reportedly shot over the weekend alongside another man. We don't know who that is. You know, saying he's in a stable condition after the shooting. However, the other man was shot. Was, yeah, was shot. Was found dead on arrival. Now again, I don't know if the other nigga had beef and young boy's brother was just chilling with the nigga, or if they was going after the young boy brother and he's a casualty. We don't know that shit yet. So, anyways, okay, yeah, according yeah. So Big B and the other man were found at the Baton Rouge gas station. The two were reportedly dropped off there after being shot at another look. Wait, 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 hold on, what? <laughs> Big B and, and another man were found at Baton Rouge gas station, the two were reportedly dropped out there after being shot, so y'all, y'all went to a gas station, uh, I'm gonna read, I digress, I digress, I digress, I digress, I digress, fans are reacting to the news and assume that it has something to do with King Von, death, Young boy, yeah, and the young boy is associated with Quando Rondo, who was involved in the altercation that that took the life of King Von. Big B took to social media to upload a video trolling King Von's death, saying the jokes on you, you dissed, you dissed, now you getting wrapped on. Okay. There are rumors that the person who shot Big B and his partner may be dead. That much has not been confirmed. Thankfully, it looks like young boy's brother will survive this attack. There's been a lot of drama from King Von's death, from, you know, among the peers, 600 Breezy, you know, 4TK, four, four uh, Forkin Trey, Killer, 4T, 4KTK, you know what I'm saying? And then also with Rondo dropping end of story referencing King Von's death, you know, saying that Rondo is taunting him. That is the story. Now, let me give you my side of this shit. Now, I don't know if the, they're in Baton Rouge. That's the thing. NBA young boy, like, I get, like, fans are focused on. I know the King Von shit has, right? This is the thing. These niggas been in Baton Rouge. They've been beefing with other hood niggas from time, bro. And this is the thing. I'm pretty sure y'all in Baton Rouge, a motherfucker, like, oh, that, oh, that NBA young boy people, oh, them niggas were shooting at us. Oh, we gonna, I don't care. They got money and they gonna go do something to you. Again. Like I said, I don't know if they was looking for Big B or the other dude. I don't know the affiliations of the other dude. Had. I don't know if he's also an NBA young member. You know what I'm saying? And they had issues. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Who fucking knows? You're in Baton Rouge. Motherfuckers don't fuck with y'all like that. Y'all got some street beef. I would not be surprised if motherfuckers seen y'all and try to do something to y'all. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I would not be surprised. Now, with this King Von thing, don't automatically, just because this shit happened, just be like, oh... Quando's part of NBA Young Boys group or associate label, whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, cause that happened, and you're a member of Young Boys thing. It was King Von's people. No, we don't know shit. We don't know shit. And like with Six Hundred Breezy and the rest of them say, talking to each like, yeah, my man's died. Of course I'm mad. I can't fuck with y'all niggas. F you. That's correct. I'm not mad at that sentiment. But we can't just put shit on niggas that you don't know what the fuck is going on with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then honestly, bro, this is the thing. Uh, Big B, it says Big B hopped on Instagram live after Vaughn passed and he was making fun of that shit like on some Chicago shit. Hey, man. You think motherfuckers ain't seen that? Again, like I said, I, I, I would advise him being young boy or any of his associates on that label to not go to fucking, um, what's that shit called? Um, Chicago. Well, except No Cap. I think No Cap fuck with everybody. Like, no Cap ain't got beef with niggas. 
I ain't gonna lie. No cap ain't got beef with niggas. That nigga, I don't understand shit. That's another one. If you want to take that in, there's a story how oh, NBA young boy and Lil Baby ain't see how to act because apparently young boy stole no cap from Lil Baby. I'll put it up here somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I, yo, I need more information on this shit. I really want to know. Because I seen him on the NBA young boy like collab album they had. I was like, oh, this is true. I don't know how this happened, but okay. But anyways, with that being said, honestly, we don't know. Of course, it's in sour taste because Kwando dropped the end of story thing. He's like, go effing pick your mains up. You know what I'm saying? All that little ish. And I get it. I understand the street shit. Y'all niggas had beef, but did they have to go there? No. And he did have a point with if it was the other way around and Kwan and Kwando passed away, motherfuckers would be like, oh, Vaughn, you the ultimate savage, da 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 which... You know, motherfuckers might do that shit, so we ain't gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna condemn him condemn him for that. And plus, he didn't even do it. His mans did it, so we really blame Kwan Dorano, and he didn't even do shit. He, he was getting beat, beat up, like, the fuck? Anyways, we kind of like boycotting the nigga, and like, his mans took it on his own responsibility. It seemed like his nigga getting beat up, like, oh, and then started busting, you know. If you hate that nigga, that's fair, but this nigga ain't kill him. Like, the fuck? But anyways... Yeah, he's part of the roster, but that's the thing. See, if that's the case, then when 21 Savage was running around with... What's that nigga name? Oh. That nigga that... He said he killed Bankroll Fresh. That one nigga? When him and him was running around early in their career, those cool and shit? I don't know if they're still friends now, but like, that nigga? If that's the case, then when 21 was fucking with that nigga, we should've been like, oh, nah, because y'all fuck with Bankroll Fresh. By the way, Gucci disrespectful, my nigga. Yeah, I keep going back to that verse of shit. But yeah, bro. Honestly, who knows the powers I be? I don't know. If a Chicago nigga pulled up and tried to do something to them, send a message, I don't fucking know. So we just gonna see how the fuck, what else happens in this shit. But yeah, I'm off of this thing. I got a little shit to say, you know what I'm saying? That's all I got for today. Slime Zone Pizza, Ice Shells, gang. Yeah.